Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is February 19th, 2018. First estate fishing's sister's birthday, all right? So let us all wish her a happy birthday. I never met her before, but <laughs> you know, anyways, it's my first day up here in New York. This week, I'm going to be doing a collaboration here with First Estate Fishing and Team Galati. They're preparing all the stuff back there. We got our waders on. We got to get our fishing rods, go to the river. Which river are we going to be fishing at today? We got to be fishing the Tayofnioga River today. I got a few videos here on the channel where I did collaborations with Tim Galati in the past. Feel free to check them out. Make sure you go to their channels and give them a follow. Uh, I fished here the Thai of Nioga when it was summertime, you know what I'm saying? So we crushed the smallies, we caught different species of fish. But today, as you guys can see, we got snow, we got rain. I mean, I don't know exactly what to expect, you know? So <laughs> let's go down to the river. We're going to tie on some jigs, you know? Hopefully we're going to land some fish. Stay tuned. It was a little bit hike to get here to this spot at the Tayof Nioga River. But after the little hike, we finally got here to the promised land where trophy fish may or may not be caught, right? And since I'm fishing with Tim Galati today in Tim Galati's home waters, I figure it would be really nice, you know, to use something that Tim Galati is recommending, you know. So for today, we are actually using this jig head check this out and this is a very very cool jig head and it's, it just so happens that this is actually custom you know uh, Tim's friend Don actually hand ties these jigs according to Tim this one was tied just this morning and in the scholars right in good old homage of extreme fully fishing so you know this is the setup we're going to be using for today a little casking sharky 2 a thousand five hundred on my casking perigee 2 two pieces medium heavy i'm using casking copolymer line today okay six pound test we're going light just in case there are some walleyes the zander vitreos around the area and we're going to be casting this jig over here we're going to be casting these lures for a little while see if there's any fish if nothing shows up, we got live bait, I got night crawlers, I may punch a few rods out, we will see, you know. And by the way, the weather is also not looking very promising, so if it starts raining, I don't want to get my equipment too wet, you guys may have to deal, you know, with a waterproof case, okay? In that, in that case, the audio is going to be horrible. But okay, enough talking, let's get the fishing started, hopefully we're going to land some fish. I'm giving, I'm giving Don's jigs a little bit of credit right now, even though I lost one <laughs> right over there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, that's fish, that's fish, fish on, fish on. Dude, that's fish, that's fish. Dude, I thought it was a snag for a second, my man. Dude. I thought it was his neck, man. What are you using? The, the jig, the jig, dude. I told you, man. Yeah, dude, it's the Don jig, dude. Did it bite? Yeah, dude, it oh, bit, and dude, then... It's probably a big walleye. And then, and then I thought, you know, I'm, I'm snagged, dude. Dude, it's probably a big walleye. Take it easy on him. Yeah, man, no, no, I'm using six pound test, drag is... <gasps> oh, man. No, took my jig? Oh, no, the jig's back, the jig's back. Oh, 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 son. No, but the, this is legit. Look, don't jig, man. The fish bit, though. The fish bit. The fish bit. Ooh, brother. That was it, man. That, that was a nice fish. That, that was, was a nice that fish. Was it. That was the fish. Woo! Next one, next one. Is it fish or is it snagged? I don't know. Fish or a log. Feels like a, more like a log. No, that's moving. It's moving? Oh, oh, son! Oh, son! If it is moving, take it easy, dude. Oh! oh. It was a carp. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. If he didn't oh, feel a bite, yeah. then it was a carp. Well, man, if we didn't, if if we didn't see, that's ten pound walleye, man. Yes. <laughs> ten pound walleye, man. 
You guys see what is going on around here? Ain't this crazy? First bite I got right over here, I thought I was snagged, you know? Then suddenly the, the fish starts to pull and it's a legit nice fish, you know? Then we got first state fishing. He thought he was snagged. So, I mean, we're talking about the noobs of the tie of Neoga River here, you know? Or maybe the fish are just biting very light. But needless to say, we know that there's some, li it's some life around here, you know? So, I mean, it's all up to us catching the fish now. All right, seven pound walleye coming up. Fish on, fish on, fish on. This time I gave a hook set, boy. This time I gave a hook set. Yo, he, he got that right oh, gee, dude. Yeah, there's a walleye, man. I think there's a walleye. Yeah, Shaking the head. It's a walleye, it's a walleye. It's a walleye, dude. Yeah, see there, you. Your mama, your mama run away from me the first time. That's right, you gotta, you gotta head for it, you know? Take up for the family. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, oh yeah, oh yeah, man, I rarely catch any walleye, so, you know, this is a beauty, ain't gonna lip it, but uh, check this out, huh? wow, dude, own Don's, Don's jig right here, felt the little tap, yeah. you know, you want me to bring very thing? beautiful, dude, no, it's good, it's good, it's all good, I gotta take a few shots here, I'm in the mud, Gotta take a few shots, we're gonna release this guy. All right guys, we just took final shot. We just took a photo here of our walleye. First one of the day. All right, hopefully we're gonna catch a few more. Well, walleye is a very sensitive species of fish. So hopefully we're gonna do a great release over here. Water temperature is pretty low. It's freezing out here. We gotta revive this fish a little bit. Hopefully it's gonna swim away good. Oh, wow, wow, yeah, it's strong, it's strong. You know, walleye is very sensitive. Tim helped me out a little bit here, keeping the fish in the water for the photos and everything. Dom's jigs. Can you believe it? <laughs> Good stuff. Let's do it, dude. I didn't have the camera out here, right, go but <laughs> Dude, that's a big, huge, that's a huge walleye, dude. It's literally bigger than the bass. I've oh my God, man. How big you think that is, Tim? Around 28, probably. Wow, dude. No. Whoa, my goodness, dude. It's crazy. A little bit down. A little bit more down. Awesome. That's what we're going for, baby. 27 inches, I think. Almost 20, no, 20, 28 and a quarter. 28, yeah, 20 oh, inches. Serious. Holy cow, dude. 28 inches. That's <laughs> fat, dude. Yeah, let's let this guy go here. Dude, that is like, holy crap. Right. Holy cow, dude. This water's freezing. Dude, yeah, it is, man. But that's a nice fish, my man. This is the biggest walleye that I've seen in person, 100%, dude. That's the first walleye I've ever caught before. Really? Yeah, ever. You alright there? Yeah, just give it a little bit of time. Yeah, it's going, it's going. Yeah, it's going, it's going. Ooh, whoa! Good job, dude! Good job, man! Damn, son! <laughs> that was an old fish, man. They're like just the face, the mean look, you know? You think it was a, you think it was a male or a female? Female. Yeah, walleye. Yeah. Walleye is that big are usually females, you know. Dude, you have no clue. Like people, regular people, they would just keep it, man. They wouldn't have thrown it back. You know what I'm saying? That that's the sad part. If you want to keep a small one like the one I caught, yeah. it is no big deal, you know. But like the one that you caught, preserve trophy genetics, right? You release it. But a lot of people around the area, man, they would have kept the fish, you know. Like, yeah, good eating, you know, man. You don't do that kind of stuff. Plus, a fish like that has so much, so much more heavy metals in it and stuff like that. Yeah. You want to eat the smaller one, you know? Better meat, man, good flavor. And let the big ones win for other people to catch, you know? And spawn for, like, bigger fish in the future. Don't they taste better when they're smaller, too? 
Yeah, dude, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Dude, first state fishing on fire. Yo, yeah, I see your fish right here, dude. That's a three pounder, dude. Dude, this is a huge log, too, man. I mean, you know, man, whatever suits you, you know? Some people, yeah, that's a trophy log right there. That's a nice one. I swear. Wow, man. Huh? You gonna get that mounted? Yeah. Got, got me excited for a moment. <laughs> All right, I'll use that number for social media then. Whatever it was, now it's eight pounds. Yeah, dude. That's a fish? Yeah. It looks like it. I think that's a carp? It might be. Take it slow, dude. Take it slow. Take it slow. Did you give a hook set away? Did you feel a tap or you think you snagged it? I have no clue. No clue, huh? Today, man. <laughs> Savage. You just threw your rod like that? <laughs> oh. What do you think that is? I don't know, dude. But I'm pretty excited to find out. It doesn't look like a walleye. Walleye usually shakes its head, you know? Maybe a sucker. No, too big. It's gotta be a carp. It's gotta be a carp? Okay, so Tim thinks it's a carp. Oh! Well, I guess we'll never find out. No, it's a carp. I, I'm pretty sure I snagged it. Yeah, I don't think I ate it. Okay. All right, folks. It was a very eventful day on the river. But as you guys can see, the day is just not nice, you know? It was raining a lot for most of the time. I tried to get as much footage in this video as possible. Make sure you check first estate fishing on my friend Tim Galati's video if they decide to post this video on their channel so you can actually see the catches from their perspective and stuff like that I don't know how the video and the audio is going to turn out but I got Tim here with me so you know I mean what do you say man was today like a good day pretty exceptional day pretty exceptional day for that spot yeah yeah we did pretty good right man I think uh dude that walleye was like 28 and a quarter inches. I mean, you've been catching walleye for a long time, yeah. right? That's a pretty nice fish for around here, right? That's a one in a thousand fish. Yeah, it's pretty exceptional, man. First state fishing's first ever yeah, pretty unbelievable. walleye. Pretty unbelievable, yeah. I don't know if that was, that was a nice fish, man. But yeah, this is it for today, guys, you know? We caught a few fish here and there. A few, I got one walleye, he got one walleye. We lost a bunch of fish. Tim lost a bunch of fish all on the little dom jig stuff we gotta be here for another four days you got everything planned out right more or less yeah yeah man do some ice fishing open water fishing you think we're gonna catch some uh, bigger than today i don't know <laughs> Maybe carp. <laughs> all right all right man maybe some 20 pound carp if we oh, try. okay okay so you know this is the deal we're gonna be here for a whole week you know like i said if you have never checked their channels tim galati here one of my most savage friends you know <laughs> this dude knows his stuff you know he catches nice fish around the area and of course first aid fishing back there doing his intro yeah, he's it's the hero today yeah he's the hero today it's right it's raining harder we're ready to go back to the hotel i'll see you guys next time yeah look oh fat fat dude wow this is the perch hole right here dude yeah, dude, now this fat perch right here, dude. Yeah, man, how does it show on the flasher? Like, does it show actually coming up and stuff? You can see him right there. There's a fish right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right on, right on. I see it, I see it, yeah.